Lab Diamonds, the jewelry exchange, has 5-carat FVS2 for $64.99. That's over 97% off wrap. 2-carat high-grade solitaires are $19.91. carat studs, $5.99. Thousands guaranteed the lowest price. The jewelry exchange, Tustin. Water. All of life depends on it. So for the love of water, let's use it wisely. Find ways to conserve at SaveOurWater.com. Now you can get your breaking news and the best coverage from Eyewitness News in Spanish. Visit now, abc7.com slash español. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 6, preparing for a full week of picketing as SAG-AFTRA members continue their fight for more money. Is there any relief in sight? With high heat comes fire danger, and this morning several wildfires are burning in Riverside County. But first, doesn't this look refreshing? Uh, the activities people across Southern California are turning to to try and keep cool. Good morning, everybody. It's 6 a.m. I'm John Gregory with Rachel Brown. Leslie Sykes is off. I really liked that pool video. That, pool looked that looks really <laughs> fun right now. Hey, Leslie. You know what we should do after work? Find ourselves a pool. Yes. Um, and wear the sunscreen. I'm telling you, yeah. the sun, you can get a sunburn on average right now within 10 to 15 minutes. And yes, it is very hot outside. Excessive heat warnings out there here in Southern California. All stretching across Southern California areas of our inland spots, our desert communities, our valleys. Also, some areas along the coastline. Just giving you a little mention, especially in the Malibu Hills area, those hillsides do get very hot. So again, it's going to be a warm one today. Over in downtown Los Angeles, 83 to 84 degrees. Orange County, about 85. The valleys in the Inland Empire, those temperatures are going to get up to about 97 degrees. If you head out towards the coastline, it's going to be about 74. The mountains heading into 83 degree territory and the high deserts 102 degrees today. I hope you have a beautiful one. Brianna Ruffalo is in. Take a look at traffic this morning. How's it going, Brianna? Good morning. We've had a couple ABC7 traffic alerts and both of them are still there, but I'm going to take you over to this one into the Los Angeles area. It's over near Lenox. Um, so just south of Inglewood, but this is going to affect your drive if you're headed to LAX this morning on the 105. So a heads up that 105 westbound much worse. Now we had a fatality here earlier. It's an ABC 7 traffic alert. A pedestrian was hit on the 405 northbound. Unfortunately, we have the number two through five lanes blocked there at Lenox Boulevard. We just hate to start the way off like that. But so this is on the 405 northbound, but you can see, of course, all the 105 westbound now backed up too because of people trying to get onto that 405. So it's just a tough, tough spot altogether. We don't know when those lanes will reopen. I would consider taking Imperial Highway and just make sure you leave very, very early so you don't miss your flight if you're headed to LAX. All right, we've got Scott Rife now with another look at your drive up in Air 7. We don't have Scott. We'll get to him in just a little bit. I'll send it back to you guys. Okay, Brianna, we'll check back. Thanks. Uh, new this morning, a shooting investigation underway in Boyle Heights. This happened on 1st and Gless Streets. Uh, police are not saying how many people have been shot or their condition, but reports from the scene say there could be multiple victims. We're working to get more information, and we, of course, will bring you updates through the, throughout the morning. Firefighters are monitoring four brush fires in Riverside County as we deal with the extreme heat and elevated fire danger. The largest fire is near Beaumont and is now 25% contained. So far, it has burned about 7,600 acres since Friday. Evacuation orders and warnings remain in place. And some roads are reopening this morning, including northbound Highway 79 between Gilman Springs and Beaumont Avenue. However, southbound lanes between California Avenue and Gilman Springs will remain closed. Well, cooling centers across Los Angeles are going to stay open longer because of this heat. That's right. If you need a place to cool off, centers are open from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. You can find a center close to you by using the city's Cool Spots LA app. Public libraries throughout the city will also serve as cooling centers. Those are open from 1 to 5 p.m. And some people actually like the heat, but others are looking for ways to stay cool. Eyewitness News reporter Elena Gomez caught up with some people in Pasadena for their take on ways to beat the heat. With the sun beaming hot overhead, a heat wave continues in LA County with no relief for another few days. We're trying to get everything done early. Um, keeping the house, you know, 78 degrees while we're gone and then keeping it cooler when we're there. In Pasadena, some people brave the hot temperatures for a bit of exercise. I love it. I love the heat. I love the sun. I get my exercise in and it doesn't bother me at all. I love it. While others hit the pool at the Rose Bowl.